Outside Model Theatre in Canterbury. Um, I will start doing this thing. Well, actually, I started today, you know, in a way. So basically, I will be doing these shoots, like five, ten minute shoots per person uh, at the set location. Today was the Model Theatre, and it will probably stay the Model Theatre for quite a while. or the Miller, uh, the Miller's Arms pub, yeah, the pub, uh, the pub, the garden by the Miller's Arms pub. Um, so yeah, I'll be doing these shoots for headshots uh, because I think people would benefit from having like a headshot either for Tinder if they're they want to go dating, which I'm sure many people do it, <laughs> and uh, also LinkedIn for the Facebook profile. In general, I think people would benefit from having a good headshot <laughs> of themselves. So I'll be doing this, uh, as I said, it will be something like 5-10 minutes per person. I mean, if someone's a bit more shy in front of the camera, I could take a bit longer, it's no problem. I just want to get the right, a nice expression from the person so they have something nice to represent themselves. And yeah, I put like, the flyer I did for today. I did it really late last night, so <laughs> unfortunately nobody showed up today. But yeah, as I said, I posted like 12. Uh, not even 12 o'clock, I think maybe even later, posted it on my uh, Facebook page and so yeah, people did not show up, <laughs> which is a bit embarrassing, but I mean, I didn't have high expectations because it was such short notice. Um, so yeah, I put the flyer, if you want to have a look at it on Facebook, um, yeah, see, see if you like it, if you want to have something like this done, keep an eye on my page. Yeah, I think it could be something many people, I, th I mean, I think most people have been in front of a camera by now, either their phone or whatever, or cheap camera, but maybe they haven't actually been shot by a photographer, maybe they've been photographed by a friend or, you know, their loved ones or stuff like that, but not someone who actually works with their expression and knows their, what their best face, the uh, best side of the faces, or shows them the best light, things like that. Um, so yeah, that's, <laughs> that's what I'll be doing a lot from now on, focusing on headshots for actors, um, any person who wants to improve their personal branding, and yeah, if you fancy something like that, as I said, check out my page, Facebook page, my Instagram, uh, Lily Bloom Writer. And we'll see, <laughs> we'll see how that, that turns out. At the moment, I'm like just reading from uh, the headshot book. I'll show you. <laughs> um, yeah, by people hardly. I've been highlighting. I've read this book ages ago, and now I'm just like rereading it, and I'm like highlighting. <laughs> Let me show you some stuff. I'm just like highlighting stuff. <laughs> Yeah, I'm sure he won't mind if I'm sharing <laughs> some um, nice headshots. <laughs> These are just tips on how to improve someone's headshot. Um, so yeah, I've been filling this book with highlights, which is it's full of, uh, of great tips and great images. Uh, Peter Hurley has a specific uh, style. He likes to shoot on white background. But I like more cinematic, like Dylan Patrick. If you know him, if not, definitely check him out. Check them both, Peter Hurley and Dylan Patrick. Um, like I, as I said, I like cinematic headshots more, just because it makes me think that the person I'm photographing is front of a part they're in a movie or I mean, something like that. So yeah. <laughs> check them out and hopefully you'll join me for a shoot <laughs> just uh, I think it'll be a fun experience and you'll get some great headshots for yourself um, yeah thank you for listening and hope to see you sometime take care bye